Today I'm gonna to be yassifying famous sports logos. If you're new here, I'm Tyler, AKA Tyler Talk, and on this channel I design, redesign, critique, do all kinds of fun stuff with logos, so if you were into graphic design, then definitely hit that subscribe button. This is a series I've been doing on my channel for a while, not necessarily with sports logos, but just taking logos that have some kind of mascot, and then in Procreate, yassifying them or making them just look like this hyper feminized, almost drag queen version of what that logo actually looks like. Eventually I started running out of these mascots and I realized that so many sports team logos are either a person or an animal that could be yassified. So I started doing this on shorts and then now I just thought I would compile every sports one I've ever made into one YouTube video for you. So I'm gonna show you the process of how I do these on Procreate, what choices I made, and the final results. To get in the mood, I am wearing my only sports jersey thing that I own. It's a vintage one that I found at a thrift store and I thought the logo was cool on it. Um, I do also wanna say I know people really care about their sports teams. This is all for fun and I have no I'm not partial to any team in particular. It's mostly just a fun thing that I started doing. So don't take it too seriously. Also, I know that the World Cup, I think, is going on right now for soccer slash football. And I was gonna do some of the logos for them and yassify them, but literally the only ones with mascots in them are already yassified. Like, look at this Liverpool one. I don't know what else I could do to make it look more yassified. <laughs> so I'm just gonna stick to some American sports ones. And without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. Okay, up first is the Vikings. And for this one, I really needed to get rid of that facial hair. So I started by redrawing the chin and then drawing over the facial hair part with that tan skin tone color. Once I was done with that, I love to make all of these have really big lips as if they got injections. So I did that for him. And then I'm gonna go ahead and add in a pink lip to this just because, I don't know, I felt like his face needed a little bit of color brought into it. So I had this hot pink, almost like Trixie Mattel type of pink. And you always have to add some kind of highlights on there for gloss, as well as for like highlighter on the cheekbones and on the nose. I also added in these really big eyelashes and to finish it off, I thought it just, there wasn't any shading in the rest of the logo, but I thought it really needed some contour just to kind of carve out everything and make it look a little more feminine, even with that jawline. Lastly, I added on this earring and here's the final result. This one is definitely one of my favorite Yesified logos I've literally ever made. It literally just looks like exactly what I was going for with all the highlights and everything and she just, I don't know why, I feel like her name would be like Helga or like Brunhilda or something like that. Okay, up next is the Bengals. And for this one, it was kind of hard because it already has a lot of those carvings that I would normally carve out. And even the eye has like, basically already has eyeliner on. So I just tried to carve out a little bit on the left side to make that be a little more pronounced. And then I'm adding in the eyelashes here. And I really thought that I needed to kind of change up the face shape just a little bit. So I'm gonna go ahead and change up some of the nose and also just make these eyelashes look a lot more pronounced to kind of match the really thick lines of the rest of the logo. So I gave it a little bit of contour and then I also added in the eyelashes on the other side, added in all the highlights and finally gave it some lips and some big hoop earrings. I thought I would do white just to kind of keep the same three colors that the rest of it uses. And lastly, I thought it would be fun to add in little like teeth gems. And here's that one all complete. I really, really love her. <laughs> She's giving like, it's giving like, if a girl who like loves doing up her makeup and everything goes to like a tailgate, if that makes sense. All right, another orange and black one. I'm doing the Orioles, this one. Uh, I actually like the old Orioles logo a little bit better. This one is very cartoony, but it does give a really good opportunity to add on some yassified elements. So I started by giving some orange eyeshadow that just kind of goes straight up to give that winged back effect. I added in these black lips and I started adding in the eyelashes and I decided that her eye 
lids needed to be a little more pronounced to kind of make it look like a little more like sultry. So I added on these eyelids and then added a highlight to the top of them. And she really, it, it's giving like real like sex appeal type of vibes. I added in hoops and lastly these eyebrows. Added in all the highlights everywhere, and here is the final result of that one. Again, I really, really like how this one came out. I think the eyelids were the perfect touch for this one. It just needed to be a little more sultry, and I think that really, <laughs> the desired effect was really met on this one. Up next is the Coyotes, and this one was kind of hard because the face is very plain, there's no eye. So I decided to add in these really thick eyelashes just to match with the line work on the rest of it. And I kind of made them like really pointy to match the part on the coyote's nose that's already there. And then I added in these highlights. I decided to stick with that light tan color that the logo already had in it for the highlights. And then I also added in some lines to the eyes just to give the a faint effect of like some eyeliner and I overlined these lips a little bit in black, making sure to keep with the pointy aesthetic of the rest of the lips. And finally, I had to add that hoop on that giant ear right there. And I also added in one more highlight where I guess like the cheekbone would be. <laughs> and then here is the final result of that one as well. This one is giving me like a sultry singer going to karaoke night and getting like all done up for it. It's also, I'm realizing that some of these might be giving a little bit of furry vibes. <laughs> Unintentional, but I could kind of see it in this one if the eyes were bigger. Next is the Eagles. And this one is kind of similar in that it already has like a lot of structure in the face and a lot of hard lines. So I didn't even really have to add any eyeliner to it because it already looks like it has eyeliner. I think I added a little highlight to right underneath it with some color, um, but for the most part, I didn't have to add that much to this one. I added in some eyeshadow and then some eyebrows, and finally these really huge lashes as normal. And I carved out the cheek and added in a little blush, but I decided that it would make sense to make the eyeshadow be like a lighter blue than the blue color from the background. And this start is when it started really giving me like 70s makeup vibes. So I went ahead and did the lips in that same pink that I did the blush in. And then of course I added in the highlights onto the lips just to give it that glossy effect. And here is that one all complete. This one to me is giving like a kid in the 70s stole her mom's makeup and tried applying it to herself. Um, and I like imagining this ferocious eagle doing that <laughs> in like a 70s makeup chest of drawers mirror type of thing. Uh, but I, I really think this one's funny. I think it has a good character to it. I did the Cougars. I'm pretty sure this is American soccer, but I could be wrong about that. But this one I wanted to challenge myself with because every single line on the logo is a sharp line. So I thought it would be fun to challenge myself and see if I could make it look yassified with staying inside the guidelines of what the logo already laid out. So I did that with the eyelashes and made them very pointy. And then I added in this carved cheek, a really carved eyebrow and carved out highlights. Then I added in this earring and instead of making it a hoop, I made it like a diamond. And then I added in a little triangle on the nose. I think that's a trick that drag queens do to make the nose highlight really stand out. And I played a lot with the lips just to see if I could figure out how to make them look pointy, but also glossy. And I kept playing around with that a little bit until I finally landed on something that I was really happy with. I added in a tiny glint in her eye and here's the final result. This one, I might not know the team very well or be very familiar with the team at all, but I think it looks really good. And I, honestly, I could see them using something like this if they have like a women's team. I don't know, it's, it's giving like it could be a real logo to me. Of course, I had to do the Patriots. This one I really didn't do too much to except make the lips much bigger. I also did the Panthers. This one was very similar to the Cougars, but I really like how the whiskers look on this one. I did the Broncos. This one is very similar to the rest, except I thought it was cute. I added a little orange nose ring to her. For the Chicago Bulls, I really just had to take the line of the face and just make it go straight up and down. 
And then also added these really straight up and down eyelashes. And this one is like the most badass looking one of all of them, I think. I did a similar thing for the Grizzlies. This one was kind of hard because it's like an exact replica on both sides. So I had to kind of like make that work, but also keeping in the shadows in the right side. But I think this one turned out really good. And lastly, I did the penguins. I honestly don't love this logo to begin with. And I'm not sure if I love what I ended up with either, but my favorite part of this one is definitely, I took the skates and transformed them into like high heel skates. I don't know if those exist in real life, but I like imagining it for this penguin. Well, that is it for today. I definitely think my favorites have got to be, I love the Bengals one. I love the Vikings one. The Vikings one is my all time favorite maybe that I've ever made of these Yesified logos. I also really like how the Eagles one turned out. I just like the pops of color in there. And I think the Panthers and the Bulls really look like that baddie aesthetic. Well, that is it for today's video. If you enjoyed it, go ahead and give it a like, subscribe to the channel, and let me know in the comments if there's any more sports or regular logos you wanna see Yassified, and I'll do those in a future video.